Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Snowflake. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this video you will learn how to download Kafka on your system and add the connector for Snowflake. By the end of this video you would have learned how to download Apache Kafka on your local system, how to download the Snowflake connector file and how to locally set up Kafka. We will start by downloading the Kafka. For that, go to kafka.apache.org and then click download Kafka. Then you have two options for binary downloads. Select any of the one and your Kafka Apache will be downloaded to your local system. Extract the zip file and you will have multiple folders like so in your Kafka directory. Then we have to download a connector file for Snowflake Kafka. Go to the particular link and then Click on the jar file to download the Snowflake Kafka connector 1.9.1 and after that once your uh, connector is downloaded you have to place it in your Kafka folders lib directory and then your Kafka will be ready to be set up. By the end of this lesson you would have learned how to set up Kafka on your local machine how to start the zookeeper server, how to start the Kafka server, and how to create a topic. Moreover, you will also learn how to produce and consume data from the topic. In order to set up Kafka locally, you will have to first start the zookeeper. And for that, open CMD in your Kafka directory and write the following command to start the zookeeper server.bat file. Once you click enter, your zookeeper will be started. Now the next step is to start the Kafka server for that open a new CMD and type the following command in it and once you enter it the Kafka server will be created and you can verify it by looking at a port 9092 in the output. Now the next step is to create a topic for that open another CMD and type the following command in which you have to define the Kafka topic name for which you want to create the topic you have to define the local host and the port of the local host and the bootstrap server once you press enter your topic will be created now we will write the data into the topic and for that we will use console producer i am going to copy the above statement and made certain changes to add console producer in it and remove the create flag and once I insert it, it is going to prompt me to enter the data that I want to insert into the topic. Type in all the data that you want to insert into your topic and the data can be in the form of multiple lines. Once you are done with typing the data and you want to move out of it, simply press Ctrl and C. You will be prompted to enter via N. Press Y and you will move to the console. And then finally we will read the contents of the topic for that I am going to again copy the above statement and now instead of console producer I am going to use console consumer object and here I will insert a flag of from beginning to read the data from the beginning. All the data in the topic will be displayed. And this is all about setting up snowflake with Kafka on local system. Thank you. By the end of this video, you would have learned how to configure your Snowflake connector using the sf underscore connect properties file and the connect standalone properties file. Let's start the configuration. I want you guys to go into your Kafka folder, go into the config folder and then create a new text file and give it the name sf underscore connect and extension should be properties. Once the file is created, open it in an editor and write the following code in it. In the configuration file, we have to fill out the empty parameters. So the first parameter is topics. Here I'm going to define a topic name. I'll give it sales-data. Don't worry, we'll create this topic later. Then we have to provide a topic to table mapping. So the first parameter is going to be a topic name, which is sales data. And after a colon, we are going to define the table name, which will be created in Snowflake to map the data. Then for the buffer count, enter 10,000. 
you can give any value to your buffer flush time and buffer size words i am going to give 60 and 500000 now for the snowflake url name go to your snowflake copy the first parameter from the url and paste it in the link here it is going to be the username then copy the region and paste it after a dot and your url should look like this now for the snowflake username you have to provide the username of your account i am going to give it mine and let's leave the private key for now on give the database name we are going to use a database that we are previously working on which is e-commerce db and for the schema name we are going to use kafka underscore live underscore streaming don't worry we are going to create it later on and here you have to provide a name and for that you can give kafka underscore live underscore streaming underscore data Save your sf underscore connect file and now within the same config library open connect standalone dot properties file. Here we only have to change one thing which is the plugging path which is the last line of the file. Here we have to provide the lip folder path of our Kafka. Go to the lips folder inside Kafka, copy its path and then paste it inside your configuration file. Save it and you will be good to go. Now in the next video we will see how to set up the private and public key in the sf underscore connect file.